The following content is rated R and is for mature audiences only. You are now watching H Fresh. Hats or other accessories and pull back any hair that might cover your face. When your scan begins, you'll need to turn your head to the left and right as slowly as possible. Okay. It's important to stay focused on the PlayStation camera, keeping it it's at eye level issue. until the scan is complete. We recommend holding the PlayStation camera in front of your face about 6 to 12 inches away. The whole process should only take Don't a couple of minutes. Please completely the fill the window so you with your the face. Camera. The window will turn like green this, when it's correct. Your arm's going to start shaking and you're going to get tired. And then it's going to say, we momentarily lost track of your head. Fuck that shit. No, you set the shit down on a table or something stationary. I have it set up on my TV stand right now. So, you just set it up on your TV stand or wherever like that, whether it be a table. Or if we momentarily lost stand. track of your head, please completely fill and the then, window with your face. Um, the window will turn green that, when it's just correct. Just keep looking straight at the camera once you start the scan. And then when you start the scan, do not turn your head until it tells you, please turn your head to the left and right. You keep looking straight at it, and then when it says, turn your head to the left, you slowly, slowly rotate like this, and keep your eyes focused on the camera. Keep your eyes focused right here. You keep your eyes focused keep your head as still as possible and you just slowly rotate you got to be much closer than this but um, I'm only doing it like this because the camera will shut off once it recognizes my face um, yeah so I would say you turn to about here because this is all it needs this right here because it's just gonna get your jawline and um, the way your sideburns are and your ears and whatnot this is all you need you don't need to turn all the way like this. Because if you turn all the way like this, it's going to lose track of your face. You don't want that. So you just go to right about here. And then you slowly bring yourself back to center. And then you slowly do the same thing on the right side while keeping your expression on your face as blank as possible. And again, this is all you need. So, what you do, is you do exactly what I just did, but, I would say, do that exact we same process about this close. Please completely fill the window with your face. Don't worry about it not catching your chin green or not correct. catching your hair. In just it a few just seconds, needs to be right here. Your automatically begin and the screen Keep will turn white in the box to help like give you this. every bit of light possible. Okay, we've got it. We are now building your custom head. Okay. So, let's see how it came out. Also, it should come out pretty good. But what I did to get the scan you first saw in this video is I used my cell phone camera and I just turned the flashlight on the um, back facing camera. I just turned that on and then I just mounted it behind the PlayStation camera uh, so that I would have a lot of light on my face because the more light the system uh, can detect on your face the easier it is for you to get a good reading hopefully we get something good usually if it's around like 8,000 8,000 points of reference then you get something really good out of it and considering that I'm already at less than 50% and I already have 6,000 it looks to be good there we go, I'm at 8,000, 71%, 14,000, let's go, I've never gotten one that high, let's go, this is going to look good, I thought it was going to look worse because of the fact that I didn't use my cell phone light, 
but you just gotta get real close up on it. Don't worry about it not catching your chin and all that other stuff because you don't have to keep it within the border. You don't have to get your entire face in the borders, your entire head, like including your chin in the borders. You really just gotta get your lips, uh, your bottom lip to be inside of the of the bottom line and then like your eyebrows to be towards the top you don't got to get your whole head and your hairline because you can see right now that the top part where my hairline is um, none of that was inside the box and it still picked it up pretty well 16,000 points of reference and I'm only at 85% can we get 17,000 and I, by the way, I only did one rotation. All I did was look straight ahead at the camera with my eyes focused on the left camera reticle. Cause this, on the PlayStation camera, there's two separate cameras. There's the one on the right, toward, there's the one towards your right hand side and the one towards your left hand side. The one that's scanning your face is the one on the left hand side. So just keep your eyes focused on the one on the left hand side. And then, you, sl you sh look straight ahead at it and don't turn your head until it tells you to turn your head to the left and right. Then you turn your head to the left at the exact angles that I showed you before. You keep it there until it tells you to turn your head again. Actually, you don't really have to wait until it tells you to turn your head again. But you just keep your head there for a long time until you see the percentages on your TV screen stop moving because I know it's hard to focus on the PlayStation camera and see what percentage you're at on the screen but you really just gotta um, but you'll still be able to tell with your peripheral vision when the numbers stop moving so uh, you just keep your head to the left at the at the at about the exact angle that I showed you like I said, if you turn your head too far to the left or right, you'll lose track of your face. And that shit is really annoying. Because y'all saw what I had to do. Well, some of you saw what I had to do last year, but the video got taken down. And then you turn your head to the right. And then... Let's see how it came out. Come on. Yo, this is pretty good. So let's put in the vitals. That little uh, screw up underneath my nose is exactly why it's beneficial to use as much light as possible. But that's a general idea of how to get it right. You can see that the facial structure and whatnot is pretty good. I didn't pay attention to the fact when your that I, well, begins, I forgot to You'll need to turn use your head to the left light. and right as slowly as possible. And it's important to stay focused on the PlayStation you camera, just gotta keeping it at eye level until the scan it, is complete. I'm holding it in the corner. I recommend the holding the PlayStation camera. camera in front of your face, I'm just, about six to twelve inches away. You know, because I'm getting light from the TV on the left hand of minutes. side, and I'm gonna get please completely um, light from my phone on the right hand side. So the window will turn green when it's correct. Like I in said, just a few like seconds, this. your scan will automatically begin, and the screen. Okay, we've got it. We are now building your okay, custom. Okay, let's see how it came out this time. Like I said, I used the backlight on my camera, this, on my cell phone camera this time. So hopefully it comes out better. Like they say, the more light, the better. Yo, 11,000, let's go. I hope I get something stupid like 20,000, 13,000, nice, nice, 14,000. All those points of references. can only be done by keeping the camera stationary. Your hands will get tired if you try to hold the camera. I'm telling you, right now, what I had to go through last year was ridiculous. I've been trying to touch 18,000 reference points for a while, but maybe if I had light on both sides, I could do it. Ah, that's much better. Not bad. Not perfect. But not fucking bad. I'm HP Fresh, guys. I'm out.